I should you just... play more to win or should you play to like with okay. a specific like I'm gonna try to improve my back okay, airs. This yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Look, this is whole like play to win or like play to improve. Look, I'm gonna say like play to win because honestly when you when you play to win or when you try to win, um mm -hmm. you are gonna end up improving, I promise you. But mm. it's it's that people they play to win, but then they're afraid to lose. Okay, so I'm gonna say mm. try to win, but don't be afraid to lose, man. If you're like, I wanna try this edge guard, but I'm afraid to lose, no. Try that edge guard. You're like, yo, I think this would be a good punish, but I'm afraid to lose. No, try that punish. But don't play to lose, because if you're playing a, or like, okay, you could. So you're not just like trying to force a specific thing, but when you see the opportunity, you always take it. Yes, because you know what? You know what? That really is playing to improve. Because usually, people just don't understand playing to improve. So that's why these days I just say, okay, play to win, but don't be afraid to lose. Okay, mm. that, oh, that's that what makes playing sense. to improve is. Because if you're playing to improve, like, and you're just trying to lab combos, well, just go into training mode and then, you know, fight a CPU or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so try to win, but do not be afraid to lose. And you understand that completely. All right. So there, you hit me with Nair, and then you did a jab. So hold on. Nair jab is like, okay, well, hold on, buddy. Hold on. You're, Sorry. You're, you're just rinsing me. All right. Here, throw that Sorry, bomb away. I saw the air dodge and I was just saw blood. Here, throw, throw the bomb away. All right, I want you to do landing there into grab because landing there into jab, it, it's, it makes me like car sick. Yeah, so these, so I feel like you're, you're like, your control of your character is a little bit off and that's because you haven't played enough because like, I'll be like do landing bear and you'll be like turning around, you'll be kind of wonky, or I'll be do like landing there and you'll be kind of wonky. So do landing there to grab again. Boom. If you hit a landing there, you want to combo it into grab. We'll play this. Okay. Yeah. Pushing advantage, I agree. I don't do enough. Yeah, so like there, okay. F smash to cover the landing is like never the right option there. Because like if mm. it hits. You barely get anything because like there, there's no combo potential. So here, help, hit me with up tilt, like run up and up tilt, and then just like up tilt again or something. Yeah, like that. That's infinitely better than like F smash when I'm at 15% because that's something my six-year-old mm -hmm. nephew would do, right? Like, and I'd be like, bro, the risk reward is so low because like mm -hmm. if, if someone shields that, then you know you can get punished, right? Mm -hmm. Real, real bad. Um, all right, so let's, let's play. So like, yeah, or like, even like, you know, you like to do, you like to catch landings with boomerang, you know, that's pretty good at catching landings, but like, you know, I'd probably do like up tilt, you know, you could even like here, do up tilt, up tilt me, and then like, I'll land with Nair. So up tilt, and then you could like, yeah, and then you shield it, and then you could like grab, because, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, most people won't have a Nair as safe as links, so like, you know, get creative with how you catch landings. Um, Cause there's a mm -hmm. lot of ways, like either another up tilt, you could even shield their landing, even F tilt. It's like, cause it's like safer. Right now, like I look at this percent, like what's your game plan? Like, what are you looking for? I guess I'd say I'm looking for like jumps or dash ins that I can punish. All right. So you're never gonna win this game just trying to like catch people's like jump or roll in with a bajillion nairs. You can't be similar to millionaires. Like at this percent, you should be looking for like nair grab and then combo off that. Like you're looking for your combo starter. That's what you're looking for. That's what anyone's looking for, right? Always for your combo. Mm -hmm. And then I'm higher percent, you look for your kill confirm. You know? It's like right now, yeah. like you want to hit me with like nair into like grab, right? Yeah. So try to do like landing or hit, hit me with like nair into grab. I don't care if it's landing there, rising there. At this percent, it's like all really good. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Um, yeah, so yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but like there you're kind of just like you're kind of just jumping around Nair Nair Like throw out a bear Nair and it's like I don't even know if you're trying to fight me or if you're just trying to like You know throw out hitboxes mm -hmm. All right, so we'll finish the stock So you see how I'm literally standing there and you're not reaching me because you're using Nair instead of Fair. 
So, mm. yeah, you see, you see how you can reach me now? You could actually like get in on me. All right, yeah. so I'm gonna give you a list of things right now and I'm gonna write them down and I'll send you it after, but I'm gonna tell you them as I write them. So the first thing you need to do is implement forward air in every way you can imagine, okay? Look, Nair is amazing, but you gotta you gotta get off the Nair, the Nair. And you gotta get onto Fair. And then once mm -hmm. you have mastered using Fair, you can start using both. Okay. Okay. So Fair, full hop, Fair, landing Fair, landing out of full hops and short hops. You do like a lot of um full hop stuff. So yeah, first thing is Fair, like run off Fair. You know, every run off platforms Fair, every way you can imagine Fair. All right. Um, I like you already kind of stopped using the up Bs when you didn't need to a lot. So I definitely like that. Um, I would say like, you know, um, look for combos. Like, mm. you know, at low percent, you're, you're trying to go for like Nair to grab, right? At low percent. Mm -hmm. At mid percent, yeah. you know, maybe like you're trying to get like boomerang fair or just like, um, or even like down tilt into something. Um, yeah, down tilt up B. Yeah. And then there's just like spacing fair because, yeah, I'll say spacing fair two because if you hit fair two, you send them far off and then you could edge guard. Now you're usually too afraid to edge guard, but we're trying, but like I said, one of the tips is, or one of the things is implement four where or there in every way you can imagine that includes edge guarding so running off there okay mm -hmm. um and catching people with double double jumping back on now the next thing you know once you send them off stage you want to master ledge trapping all right so mm -hmm. uh with bomb on stage all right so we're gonna you know however links do it they like to throw the bomb down but sometimes i like neutral get up distance but sometimes they probably do it at ledge roll distance so you want to like throw bomb down you know cover ledge roll with f tilt or you could even like cover um, ledge jumps with full hop there. So like if they yeah. if they wait a bit and manage to jump around it, they could do full hop there. But if they wait, you could obviously explode the bomb, right? Like that's that ledge trap is really potent for Link. It's super strong. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one thing I see Links do is they'll like drop the bomb, and then if there's a roll, they'll try to catch the roll with bare one. Yeah, with uh, sorry, I have trouble landing that, oh, so I don't one? go for it. With bear one, yeah. Okay, all right, that's fine. Um, now, okay, so next thing, uh, so we're talking about ledge traps. Um, uh, I had some uh, really good ones, but you know, what? we'll talk about that. The, so, okay, try to um, short hop instead of full hop because you use a lot of full hop aerials when like the person's on the ground so mm. you definitely want to like master short hop um like master landing aerials out of a short hop because you're definitely like struggling with that and like implement you know short hop aerials out of shield so like whenever you use like a full hop you should ask yourself like would a short hop be better right because if you're closer to the ground you're not just flying in the air where someone can whack you. You're close to the ground. You could always, and on the ground, you could shield, you know, on the ground, mm. you could space because um, you could just land and then shield, you know? So, but if <laughs> you throw out a move in the air, someone can just catch your landing pretty easily, right? Yeah. So, yeah, moves like grounded up B, forward smash, up smash, jab are doo doo, poo poo, caca. All right. So use mm -hmm. them sparingly and instead, you know, in, instead um, use short hop landing aerials, like a spaced fair or, or maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you'll find the opportunity for a landing bear one, you know, mm -hmm. um, or, you know, short hop landing, landing there. So like, um, you know, usually, okay, like actually up smash is kind of legit and obviously grounded up B has some uses. Forward, forward smash, I'd really stay away from. Um, but 
like every time you use them you need to ask yourself like was there like a better option you know um because yeah, for catching landings you don't want to just use f smash you know you want to uh you want to try to like keep them keep them juggled um mm -hmm. and then yeah oh yeah the other thing is master down throw combos like um yeah master uh, uh, like as if you're the link connoisseur you up you appear to be okay because you know all this these link stuff okay this is that that one's half motivational because you know all this link stuff but then i feel like in game it doesn't show it at all but mm. the way you talk it's like wow this guy's like a crazy link but then in game it's like oh wow um he's not really doing any of it he's just really st staying in his comfort zone so and then yeah uh honestly um number seven get out of your comfort zone um and test moves and try to you know aggressively and try to be aggressive on your opponent because that's part of like being afraid like i feel like you're very like you're not afraid to like just rush down your opponent with like fair you just like spam like nares around you're just flying around with nares and bears and whatever mm. so yeah um that's basically it okay um, yeah so well thanks a lot for your time oh yeah i think course. uh i think i definitely learned a lot so I'm gonna try to grind elite smash and see how this stuff goes yeah um yeah and yeah just grind elite and like just whenever you see like one of these things come up just you know do your best to uh to adapt to like a more optimal solution and for mm. the final thing would you recommend a lesson with dk bill yeah definitely i thought it was great awesome you're the best man and keep me updated on how things go